Hey GED students, we're on unit zero, lesson one of the crash course beginning level practice, and we're gonna work numbers two, four, seven, and nine. Let's go ahead and take a look. Directions say determine the operation indicated by each expression. And if you can see here with these particular expressions, we are just looking here at symbols. And I want to know operation. Now remember what I mean when I use that language operation. Operation are those things that we do with numbers mathematically when we're putting them together, taking them apart, the things we do. And so the four basic operations we learn for us beginners are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So that's all I'm asking you here, okay? Don't overthink it. All I'm asking you is which thing is this symbol asking me to do? Which thing is this symbol indicating? Multiplicate, I can't fit multiplication on my screen. Okay, and division, there we go. So let's look at number one, fraction bar. Now, a lot of you guys just freak out the second you see a fraction bar, but I asked you to remember that that indicates an operation. What operation does it indicate? It indicates division. 25 over 5 can also be read as 25 divided by 5. So what operation is indicated by the expression? That's division. Okay. And we do not generally use that divide by symbol that you're used to from elementary school. I'll write it over here. It's kind of gets dropped in alge because it's not powerful enough to communicate what we want to communicate. And let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. You see a seven shoved up against a 55 with nothing between them except parentheses. And that is telling you that you are multiplying. This seven parentheses, 55 parentheses, the proximity of those two things, the nearness, with the only thing between them a parentheses tells us that we are multiplying. This is a multiplication. And the same is true of down at the bottom. Both numbers could be in parentheses, but the same thing. The only thing between the two of them is parentheses. This must also be multiplication. Now, these two are the ones you really need to know for the GED because this is how we usually write about multiplication in the land of algebra. We use proximity and parentheses if necessary. And again, we drop that time sign that you guys are so used to. Very rarely gets used because hard to tell the difference between that and an X. So you're going to need to get comfortable with parentheses. Okay, looking at the next one. Now, good news, you probably won't see this too much on the GED, but you might see it in your practice problems. You might see it when you go on to college, so I just wanted you to be aware of it. If you see that little dot between the two numbers, that is another way to say multiplication. And don't ask me why. I have no idea. If you're going into computer science, you'll need that as well. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.